affordable way to restyle your vehicle can be with a little pinstripe. With all the colors and styles we have available, you can make your car, truck, or motorcycle look great in minutes. This video in our do-it-yourself series will feature the installation of one of our easy to install and cost-effective pin packages on this Lexus RX 350. Watch, learn, and restyle. To start, let's go over some supplies you'll need to get the job done. A cleaner such as our Rapid Tack will assist with removing wax, grease, oil, and silicone residues. You'll of course need some paper towels, the pin package kit, an X-Acto knife for trimming, and a heat gun. Proper preparation and cleaning means success with any graphic installation, large or small. We want to begin by determining where our pinstripe is going to be placed. Most vehicles have a distinct upper body line where the stripe can be placed close to. While you're free to set the stripe anywhere desired, for this vehicle, we'll be placing the stripe about an inch below the upper body line as illustrated by the dashed lines we've drawn. This will allow us to use the body line as a guide and it will provide enough room for the stripe connector and accent graphic we wish to use. Once we know where, let's go ahead and clean the area thoroughly. Using our cleaner, be sure to remove wax, grease, or oil that may be evident. It's always a good idea to wash the complete vehicle so you're installing on a clean surface. Prior to laying out our stripe, let's go over some characteristics of vinyl pinstripe material. First off, all our pinstripe products are manufactured from 2 mil automotive grade vinyl materials with a pressure sensitive adhesive. This pressure sensitive feature is unique in that as long as we do not apply pressure to the pinstripe, we can easily snap it up for resetting. However, once we have the pinstripe where desired, Near thumb pressure will set it in place. Next, most stripe tape is manufactured with a clear protective covering. Once set, the covering must come off, otherwise it'll prematurely deteriorate your pinstripe job. Now, with the white part of the stripe down, go ahead and temporarily place the stripe tape on the vehicle, with about 12 inches more than you need extended past where you plan to trim. This will allow you to handle the stripe without getting finger oils on the part of the product that's actually set on the vehicle. As you can see, I pulled the stripe all the way to the front. This allows the stripe to flow continuous. It's very difficult to place pinstripe on each body panel, for example fenders or doors, without the appearance of kinks in each segment. Now with the pinstripe on the vehicle, we'll snap up the tape and set the stripe by eye from the rear. And then we'll do the same from the front. We may need to do this several times before we feel the stripe is in the correct place. Here's an installation tip. Twisting the pinstripe 90 degrees assists in setting the top or bottom edge of the tape as you proceed along the body. Another important tip is that by keeping the pinstripe taut, this will assist in that continuous flow we mentioned earlier. When satisfied with the placement of our pinstripe, we need to determine how to finish off each end. For this application, we'll be pinching the two parts of the pinstripe together at the front of the vehicle, and we'll be using our small accent graphic for the rear. To start, let's set the pinstripe on the vehicle with a fair amount of thumb pressure. When we get close to the front, set only the first 12 to 16 inches of the bottom part of the stripe. This is because we'll be snapping up the top part to reset it over the bottom. This is how we do it. With the bottom part of the stripe set, carefully peel the clear backing off the bottom stripe, leaving the top part attached to the clear. Once separated, carefully snap up the top part about 10 to 12 inches from the end of the vehicle. Once pulled up, go ahead and lay the top part onto the bottom, gradually decreasing the spacing as you go along. The top part of the stripe should rest completely on the bottom part as shown here in the front. 
With the front part of the stripe pinched, we're now ready to remove the clear protective covering and trim the pinstripe. With the clear covering removed, trim the front approximately one inch from the edge and trim with a nice radius tip as shown here. We do not suggest wrapping pinstripe into door jams, thus trim the stripe at each opening approximately 1 16th from each side. To finish off the rear, take the accent graphic and attach it to the vehicle with masking tape the way you desire. Notice that we've trimmed the backing paper at the front of the graphic very close to the edge. With the graphic in place, trim the pinstripe approximately 1 16th inch from the graphic. Once trimmed, remove the excess pinstripe. With the pinstripe removed, simply remove the backing paper from the graphic and set it carefully with your thumb. Simply repeat these previous steps with any stripe connector you wish to feature. As a final step, warming the entire pinstripe with a heat gun will promote adhesion, especially at each cut end. That's it! In a matter of minutes, you've turned a rather bland looking vehicle into one that reflects your style with a simple, easy to install and affordable pinstripe. For other unique enhancement and car care products, we invite you to visit our website to see what we've got. Restyle, renew, and revive your ride with Auto Trim Design.